I am Boogie. There's the black light. Oh. They both glow. That's cool. On the second day of Christmas, the scary nightmare gave to me a cut and barrel. Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Twas the nightmare before Christmas, and all through the haunted mansion, not a foolish mortal was stirring, just the undead here. And that's what we got. We got Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. We have the advent calendar, 24 days before Christmas countdown. You go ahead and open up a present, and you get one of these undead people here. And so we also have on top of that that we want to cover some cool-looking adorables, and more exclusively, the one from the San Diego Comic Con that you shine a black light on. It looks really cool in the dark, and we got more Funko Pops, guys. So let's get haunting. First things first, we got our goblet of Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's see if I can get him right. Jack and his girlfriend. I don't remember Sally. And then we got Zero. Say by Zero. I love that song by The Fix, you know. Gotta get my fix in. And then a bunch of creepy looking kids. And then we got, you know, go ahead and pick your boogie. You got your oogie boogie. Guys, when I need a good glass of spirits, <laughs> that's what I start with, my gobbly. It just looks cool with the gems or, I don't know, uh, purple looking gems on there, spider webs. I just thought, that looks cool. And stainless steel on the inside too, so you know it's not going to be that difficult to clean up. Awesome. And then we got some ornaments here, Christmas ornaments, Halloween ornaments. If you got a Halloween tree, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Or you can call them, I mean, they got adorables, adorables. They did adorables. Maybe they, these could be like Christmas adornaments. <laughs> Adornaments. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go. So first we got Jack Skellington and his faithful Woofy uh, Zero. Oh, but that's okay. Even in the next life, he's got his faithful Woofy. And I, I think that's just super cool, guys. I love it. And then here's the back, guys. Not much to see there, but they just look happy together. Just a haunting they will go. A haunting they will go. Hi-ho, the Dario. Yeah, and the Dario doesn't work. Okay, so there's that one. And then next, we got Jack and Sally. Jack and Sally went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down, broke his crown, and now he's Jack Skeleton. And Sally went tumbling after him. As you see, they all, both ended up dead. Those nursery rhymes, man, they're kind of freaking me out now. Oh, look at that. Back to back against the moonlight. That's cute. Actually, it doesn't have a good base. Well, it's supposed to hang from a tree, right? What do they call it in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas? Not a Christmas tree, but a scare tree. I don't know. I think I saw part of the show. I don't know. What am I doing with this when I seen part of it? Well, they got some cute characters here. Like, well, let's go with our Funko Pops, like this one right here. Kind of confused me here because you have the three regular size and you have Jumbo Funko Pop here. But it's in the series of 1355, 56, 57, and 58. You know, kind of like they come out to socialize. Thing. I don't know. There you go. There's the first one, 1355, Jack Skellington. And there it is on the side. Nice picture of them. And then the back of the all of them that you can collect in the series. 1355, Jack Skellington, and he's holding on to a tombstone, looks like. 1356, Jack Skellington at, uh, I can't tell if he's at the sewing machine or if I better cheat. No, he's got his lab kit. Okay, and then you got uh, 1357 is the Pumpkin King, looks, looks really cool. Uh, the Pumpkin King's on fire. And then you got Sally, and um, yeah, she's at the grave. So let's go ahead and open this one up here. Oh, that looks pretty... Oh, God. I, I, look, guys, to be honest with you, I haven't seen the show here, so I don't know if this is part of it or what he's doing, but the, even the tombstone looks like it's, like, being haunted, like... <laughs> So 1356, here's the next one right there. And again, it's Jack Skellington. And then, you know, the side here, you got a nice uh, side profile. And then the back. And then this one looks like it doesn't say what he's doing. So we have to pull it out. And why he's at the lab? Look, he's got his doctor's bag right here. And he's uh, like, you know, got some potions and stuff. I mean, is this to like bring you back to life? <laughs> That's like the worst thing you can do for these guys. And I'll bring you back to life. No! But let's go on to my favorite one out of all of them here, and that's the Pumpkin King. Man, I like to make some pumpkin pie out of him. That'd be a wicked pie, wouldn't it? And there's the side, and the same thing on the back, which is the four you can collect. And so, yeah, and it looks like he's just on fire, man. It's already cooking. Mm, I can already smell the aroma. Pumpkin cookies, pumpkin pie. <laughs> 
Well, that's really cool. I love it. That looks awesome. I love the cobblestone that he's on too. You know, I make the Headless Horseman proud to have his melon on the top. <laughs> okay. And then look at this one right here, 1358, the last one, and it's Sally. Uh, nothing on the side, and in the back you can see, well, that's what you can collect all four. Okay, let me figure it out. What is Sally doing? It says Hen, Bond, Bane, Witch Hazel, Deadly Nightshade. And then there's like, I guess that's the grave she's looking at. It looks kind of like, well, it's gray, but it looks mossy with some vines there. I don't know if she's like mourning over these tombstones or she's like starting a garden. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking over her garden, you know. <laughs> but out of all of them, that's my favorite, the most colorful one. Yeah, let's do the next Funko Pop. I saw this one, and that's the coolest one, or the one that I could find um, as recently here. And it's 71 0, and he just looks like he'd pop in the black light. In fact, here's the side picture, and then here's the back of all of them you can collect in this series here of black light, poppy, glowy action figures. You can see number 15 is Jack Skeleton, 16 Sally, 39 is Oogie Boogie. And then 71 is zero, of course. And then the mayor of Simpleton is 807. And then Jack Skellington with zero jumbo. Yeah, we don't have that one, but they look cool. But zero is my favorite out of all of them, the characters. But you know, the Pumpkin King, he looks cool too. And look at that zero. We're gonna turn off the, the lights and put the black light on them, but I wanna do that when we do the adorables too. Do all black light at once, you know, for everybody. And find out who glows in the dark and who pops in the black light in the dark. That's cool, I love my zero. And then the next one, we got this big, huge one, and it's the Christmas tree. I like this, and there's a total of, well, actually, we got part of it. This one, you wouldn't know to get unless you actually saw it, and I'll show you in just a minute, but this one is the uh, Jack Skellington with Christmas door, 1360, and on the back, this is what I'm talking about. You see the other four? Now, if you remember, on the back of the other boxes, it showed these four, but it didn't show the Christmas tree. So with the Christmas tree on this one, you can see the other four you can collect, not vice versa. So you wouldn't know unless you saw this and now we're showing it to you now you know so let's just go ahead and open it up oh man that's cool it would have been awesome if you could actually you know hit a button and have the lights come on that'd be awesome but for the Funko Pop I mean what you see is what you get I don't think there's any Funko Pop that I know of that actually lights up but we can see what it looks like when we turn on the black light so and it's kind of cute how he's got little steps I guess they could be presents but they're steps up <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a tree stump. There you go. Who needs all the decor of the branches up there? Just trim that off and there you go. It's a Merry Christmas stump. <laughs> okay. I'm stumped. Okay, next. Oh, look, you're among the little people now. <laughs> That's Glenda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. It is. It says right there, it's the Little People Collector. And again, down below, we're doing the Disney Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. And you can see right there, it looks like, well, it says next to Oogie Boogie, a glows in the dark. And so I assume it's just for him. I don't know. We'll see if it's just proprietary to him or if it includes the whole set. Maybe it will tell us more on the sides. Oh, well, there's who you get on the sides with their names in case you forgot. And it's Jack Skellington, Sally, and Oogie Boogie, and Zero. Cool. And then on the back, oh, they're really a haunting right now. So you got Jack Skellington, how dare you treat my friend so shamefully. I don't know what he's talking about, but he's got a cool kick and sidekick, the pumpkin. Zero's floating above. And then you got Oogie Boogie complaining about my bugs, my boogers, my boogs. And you got Sally, she just seems so adorbs. Just like, oh dear. Maybe he's talking to that eight ball there, the spider. But it's, it's by Fisher Price, and it says, figures do not speak. <laughs> but you can mime, you can speak for him, right? How do you open up anything if there's no tape? Uh-oh, I don't want to destroy the box if I don't have to. Oh, this is, oh, here we go. So we don't have to destroy the box. I think the box may, or this part may just slide on out maybe. Look at there. Ooh, and it's got this little whack swirly here. Uh, maybe that's their Christmas tree, right? They don't need a stump. I don't know, that looks cool. You can decorate that, the swirlies. Oh, look at that, what it says right there. Come with us and you will see this, our town of Halloween. Ween, ween. I mean, look, see, look at that. That looks even cooler without the plastic in the way. You got your backdrop, you know. That looks awesome, guys. So let me see. Does it pull out? No, I guess. And does this... So maybe you just let it sit like that here. So first of all... Oh. Man, that was a bit brutish there. And there's Sally. Almost looks like she had a decayed pizza there, uh, pepperoni. <laughs> 
like you. Is that an artichoke? You're, you got my artichoke heart, but it's brown. It should be green. Everything rots in the underworld, you know? So. And then we got our Jack, Jack Spratt, and he's got his pumpkin. He could use it for his hat, you know, something to rhyme. And then zero. All right, look at him. He just looks a haunting ghost and ghostly. And I love his pun. And look, hey, they go together. <laughs> That's cool. And then for our glow in the dark boogie, I wonder how he glows. We will check all this out, guys. So stay tuned to the end when we do the black light uh, show and see what pops and what glows. That's cool. And so how do we set this up? Uh, you set them up here. Okay, little people, do your uh, spotlight. And uh, here we go. And there's zero. Oh no, Sally's gotta be next to, well, see, here's here's the problem. You gotta have, you know, man's best friend on the right side and then the oogie boogie over there. And I think what the back, oh, and they got actually the stone Christmas tree I can see over to the side too for your uh, backdrop. It looks awesome, guys. This is, I think is a really cool set. You can go ahead and set that up and just put it on your uh, mantle or somewhere or on the coffee table. That's cool, guys. I think that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna start hitting something adorable here. Let's start with the little box here of Dorables. And it just has uh, Jack and Sally there, and it says uh, Disney Dorables Grand Entrance. And it says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas 30th. So, wow, 30 years of this thing? Man, that's cray. Let's see, cut the top and slide it out from the top. I think so, because it ain't gonna come out from the bottom. It's pretty much locked there. Hold on, maybe it's a magnet. It is. Okay, you didn't see this. I just go ahead and push it down. You didn't know. It just looked like it was like glued shut, but no, it's a magnet. Whoa. Wow, I gotta see this. Oh, that's cool. It opened right up, you know? You have spider webs on the sides. That's awesome. I guess you still need to pull up the top unless you wanna leave it in its, you know, don't get dust on it, leave it in its case. Come a collector's item. But now how do I get them out? Oh, there you go, okay. I really like them in there. I don't think I want to pull them out unless the whole thing comes. Okay, there we go. Oh, the backdrop looks cool at the moon. Yeah, it looks really cool. And this one, you know what's interesting about this is that, look at that gate. It's purple. It almost looks like it would glow in the dark. They're on plastic. Is that to help them stay together? Okay, there's a bottom there. I guess you could leave it like that, but I really want to pull the plastic off because you can see at the bottom it's ribbon together or it's like locked in place, uh, the plastic. So let's go ahead and undo that. That's really wrapped around. Whoa. So here, you see these extensions right here? If you look, and I'll try to pull them out, at the bottom of her foot, she's got a hole. So yeah, it looks like you are supposed to pull them out. There's, oh wow, that was pretty tough. Sally and Jack, and then let's go ahead. And it just kind of looks like a creepy gate to the Haunted Mansion. And it looks like that uh, signet there, the symbol looks like a pumpkin. And then, I don't know, it looks like cats. Just got the life scared out of them, you know? <laughs> so we'll put her over here and find her hole in her footsies. And then Jack right here, right here. I got them holding hands now. It's like, welcome to our world, welcome to our world. God, I love how their eyes sparkle too. They just look happy together. Okay guys, next go to the Dorables here. It's uh, the Dorables uh, and it's Tim Burton's again, uh, 30th anniversary, eight exclusive figures. You know, you look at the sides and I guess those are in there, the figures, that side, and then also this side, Jack Skellington. And then on the back, all eight of them. So it says, your favorite Disney Dorables character with sparkly, glittery eyes. So tiny and cute, you can't help but collect them all. You know, it says right there, sparkly, glittery eyes. You got Jack Skellington, Pumpkin King, Sally, Harlequin Demon. <laughs> Is that the DC comic Harle uh, Harlequin? Now it's a Harlequin Demon, <laughs> I guess. And you got Vampire Teddy. Oh, wow, that sucks. <laughs> and you got Behemoth and Dr. Finkelstein. Yes, where's my Igor? And the clown. So let's go ahead and take a look at them and see just how cool they look. 
and it's a special edition certificate so it is special and on the certificate you can see it says sally glows in the dark I, well it's in between jack skellington and sally maybe it's referring to both of them although the call out looks like the bubbles are going towards sally we'll have to check them both out and then you got the pumpkin king harlequin and everything we just went over but here it actually tells you that it glows in the dark on the outside it didn't say anybody glow in the dark gosh maybe this was limited edition maybe we just opened it up and they don't all glow in the dark maybe just this one Woo! here we go guys take a look at them things that we got to open up them doors creepy doors kind of reminds me of like monsters inc mm. kind of so we can open the door let's open up door number one you know you can open up the doors and pull it out right there but it's kind of funny because this thing opens up to the side and it's got somebody's shoes there uh, you can open the door oh, okay <laughs> And you can open the doors or just, you know, it, they're blind bags. So it's not like you're like, hey, what am I getting? I mean, except behind the doors. And it has question marks like, who are you going to get behind this door? And that one looks like um, the way his fingers are going out, like the pumpkin king. So this one, I'm not sure. Let's find out who was behind this one. And maybe it's our Jack Skellington goes in the dark with his pumpkin. We'll have to find that out. And then behind this door right here, it's... Oh, it's Freaky Cat. <laughs> Look at those choppers, man. Ah! Now this one looks like the Pumpkin King, okay? So I assume we open up that one. That one's gonna be Pumpkin Head. Why would it do that? Look, does it look like she's got a knot on the top of her head, like this thing, a stem coming out? Disney, you disappoint, but she does look adorable. Oh, look, and that's her cat. So wait a second, you see how her eyes sparkle? She's really cute. And the cat, and there's the demon cat. <laughs> Maybe he ate the kitty litter. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so now that we know that doesn't work, because here's her, this is her right here. That's her hair going to the side, right? Oh, so maybe we get the pumpkin king in this one. No, we got Harlequin. <laughs> I don't... What are they doing? Just has question marks. Maybe that's part of the nightmare before Christmas. You open it up and you're like, hey, I'm getting like Harley Quinn. It's like, ah, I got somebody cool. Whoa, I like his eyes. They do sparkle. That one looks cool for the Pumpkin King. Okay, next. Poor kid with a hatchet in his head. I don't understand that, man. I don't know. The more I see, the more less I want to know. Okay, and here's like, I don't know, reminds me of Bugs Bunny. A little, uh, uh, the mad scientist. Yes, Bug, we are going to build a Frankenstein. And then last but not least, we got Toy Kid with a very, like, scary, spooky set of choppers there. Guys, uh, it looks pretty cool. I think my favorite out of here is Sally and maybe the Pumpkin King. Okay, next are Dorables. Okay, this one's different. Uh, again, exclusive figures, and then you can see you're collecting on the sides. You got your boogie, so it looks like Oogie Boogie's in this one, which is uh, one of my favorite characters. And then the back, again, your favorite Disney adorable characters with sparkly, glittery eyes, and there it says sparkly, glittery eyes. And this one's cool because it asks you, will you find the bonus figures? So, uh, see, uh, there's a total of eight, so not including the bonus figure. Yeah, so if it feels like there's an extra fig, you're a winner. And it'd be cool if we actually got the bonus figure to see who that is. So we could show you guys but let's go ahead and open it up from the side here we should know right off the bat when we open it up right if you got a bonus fig oh wow um something happened this thing just got shredded special edition certificate and it says bonus figure santa jack does that mean we get santa jack it's interesting because the last one it says special edition certificate but on the outside it didn't say glow in the dark so maybe you open it up and if it doesn't say special you don't get the glow in the darks guys i think we got two for two but let's find out because if we have a total of nine in here we're just kicking one two three four six seven eight maybe we didn't unless they double up on one because here, if you look at that, I mean, I only see eight, unless the bonus figure is just hiding behind all of them somewhere. 
I don't know. But here, oh, it says Jack Skellington glows in the dark. And it didn't say glows in the dark on the outside. So I don't know. Uh, maybe we didn't get it. But we'll go ahead and open up everything to see if we did get the ninth one. But it's cool that the bonus figure, Santa Jack, that's the one I'd love to get. That one looks super cool. So we're opening up, uh, if you guys want to see, we're opening up the first one here. I love the doors. The doorables. Behind door number one. Oh, look. It's the Joker's son. <laughs> green hair and like a blue purplish jacket oh man poor kid it must be tough being the joker's son all right let's open up the next one and that one's supposed to be barrel i guess i didn't go over this with you guys so we got sally zero mayor oogie boogie glow in the dark uh, jack skellington lock shock and barrel that just sounds like you know you're dealing with a gun hey lock shock and barrel <laughs> Oh, here we got uh, Shock, a little witchy poo. Next one should be uh, Lock, although we'll get in reverse order here. It's supposed to be Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Oh, we got Lock, so here we go, over here. And look at the back of him. So he's supposed to be a, a red devil, because he's got a pink mask with the horns, and he does have glittery eyes. So there's lock, shock, and then we got barrel. <laughs> oh, we got Sally. Sally always looks cute. I mean, if you got to go with uh, undead characters look cute, I think she's uh, the cutest if, if it's such a thing. And we open up the double doors. Um, so this is supposed to be glow in the dark Jack, and he's got his glittery eyes, you can see there. Still looking for one of my other favorite characters, Zero and Oogie Boogie. Oh, we got the little snot head right here. <laughs> it's my boogie! Go ahead, look guys, look what I'm doing. I'm picking myself a boogie. If you can't find him, just go ahead and make your own. Okay. Now we're down to the last two, which is gonna be our Mayor and Zero. Okay, there's Zero with his uh, big glittery glowy eyes. Okay, so last but not least is our mayor. Oh man, he's two-faced. Look at that. He's going gookly. He's going, yeah, that's when you like, you know, you take his uh, candy cane away from him, you know. <laughs> and that's uh, when he wants his candy cane. Guys, I think that's it. Otherwise, they'll show us an extra door. But what I'll do just to be uh, safe is I'll open up the side and just take a look inside. And that's it, guys. We didn't get the special uh, Jack, uh, Santa Jack. And that would have been cool, guys. And I'm tempted to, like, you know, go out and get another one just to see if I can get Santa Jack, because I think he'd be awesome to get. So finally, the one from the San Diego, all the way from Comic-Con. We got the Dorables here, the Blacklight Special. Let the black light special shine a light on me. Let the black light special. Um, there you go. Uh, you got 13 black light figures, and they just look cool here with Zero in the green, and then you got Sally the pink, and then it glows with Jack. I mean, it looks like he's glowing, but it's just black light. And you got the mayor, and it says right there, San Diego Comic Con International 2023 exclusive. And you can see right there, they actually have lights inside, black lights. So it says it takes batteries, and I assume when you open it up, you just go ahead and hit the button, and it'll black light all the figs but let's just take a look at the sides here there's that side who we got on the side oh that looks really kicking the uh, pink ghost here is that supposed to be oogie boogie maybe that's boogie he looks better pink than jack skeleton man they just look so cool much cooler when they have uh the colors so poppy then here's the back all of them that should be in here 13 black light figs first you got jack skeleton and then you got the clown <sighs> clowns are so creepy man and then vampire teddy god five nights at vampire teddy's i don't want to be there the pumpkin king and zero santa jack hey we finally get our santa jack Sally Mayer, Dr. Finkelstein, yes. <laughs> then your Oogie Boogie who turned like pink. Lock, shock, and barrel. I just love that. Hey, get ready guys, lock, shock, and barrel. Hey guys, let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Let's take a look. Wow guys, look at it. It's the fountain is vomiting. <laughs> 
Look how cool they look. These are very like fluorescent just colors. The batteries are already working on them right now. I didn't have to turn it off. Look, it says try me. So to try them, we have to pull that thing out. And then is it on? So it's interesting, the switch. It has a try me and then it has an off and it has an on. So I don't know if the try me just push it on and it stays on for like maybe a few uh, 10 seconds and then on where it keeps it on. I don't know, but guys, you got to keep this in here if you want to see the black light or you can pull them out, you know, and then go ahead and shine the black light on them. Let me just see what... <sighs> Do they even have a way to open it, this up? Yeah, you do. And then I guess you can pull out the figures, but look how ensconced they are into those uh, plastic casing there. You have to pop it really hard. I think one time pulling it out, you may not break the plastic, but if you want to keep them like that, I'd leave them in there. So guys, let's do this. Golly, hang on, because we want to do our 24 advent calendar. I want to hit the black lights on all of them to see what it looks like, um, see the ones that glow, see the ones that really pop at the black light. And before you do that, guys, I got to take a break, man. Oh, how'd you do this camera, Mom? Oh, look at that. We got some cock pops. Look, we got Jack Skellington and Little Green Boogies and uh, also the Pumpkin King. Those look cool, guys. And then I got to show you something else here. Camera Mom made this deathly cake. She wants to kill me. <laughs> Look at that. You got skeleton. Oh, I can't even finish my orotation on this one because camera mom's already throwing me at these awful looking cookies. I mean, they're deathly cookies. God, all the sugar content in there could just like put you into a like uh, diabetic coma. <laughs> That's what they love. Hey, there's room for one more right here, guys. There's room for one more. <laughs> but this, I don't know. God, and then they got these little, uh, are these edible candies? This like tombstone. Do you see that tombstone right there? That little thing right there or coffin? Oh. <laughs> Gotta take a coffin drop. It's like a Pez. That's what it tastes like. It does taste really good. Guys, I don't eat that much sugar. I mean, especially with the... Ugh, all the GMOs in here ought to put me just under. Take a cake pop. I wouldn't eat that. That's just a brownie. My teeth turn black? Yep. Oh, I'm doing this for you guys. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> this is so not me. Ugh. When I'll say this to Mark Channels. Which one should I try, guys? The boogie? Cake pop, there's a cake inside. Disneyland had the best cake pops, and that one's kind of the, the it's just vanilla flavor for the cake it tastes like. I just want to try a bite of each, because once you get going, the body gets used to it, and you just want to eat more. Well, the icing's great, and the cake tastes really good too. It's very moist. And then finally for Jack, I got to crack his noggin. Hey, you know what? You, skulls have cracks in it, right? There you go. It's authentic now. <laughs> Mm. I will say, very nice, very flavorful. Oh, sugar rush. Guys, if I don't make it to the end of this video, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll need all support after that. Wow. Okay, guys. Finally, the Funko Pop 24-piece advent calendar. You can see it's Disney's Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas. And it says Funko advent calendar, and it's Pocket Pop. So not going to be big uh, Funko Pops, just little ones. It's supposed to be for 24 days. You can see, uh, well, day four is Sally. Day eight is old Santa. And then 10 is going to be Jack Skellington. We'll see if that really lives up to it when we open them up here. And then you got the side. There's Sally. And it just says 24 piece. And then over here, um, there's Jack 24 piece. And then on the back, it just looks super cool because you got the presents. You get to open up a present, you know, every day or every night. In fact, it'd be better if you open it up at night. So you can keep with the theme of nightmare, you know, or night. So how do we do this, guys? I think you just open up the back. There we go. So now we got to go through uh, the 24 days of Christmas. Okay, guys, so be sure to like and subscribe because we're going through day one. Come back tomorrow, we'll go through day two, and then we'll just release them all up until Christmas. But if we get it out before Christmas, we don't hit it, then don't watch the video until you get to day one of December 1st, okay, guys? <laughs> I hope you guys aren't believing me because I can't wait. Let's go. Woo! And so we're going to go ahead and open up one. Ow. I didn't like these because they're so stiff and cardboardy. So who's in day one, guys? And I think this is the way you're gonna get it too, is maybe all the day ones will always have the same character. And it's Jack, uh, the king, the pumpkin king. I don't know why you wanna call him Jack too, but anyways, this is the pumpkin king. Oh, okay, he's got little teeny tiny feet, so he ain't gonna stand if you blow on him. And then day two, on the second day of Christmas, the scary nightmare gave to me... Little Zero. Or the third day before Christmas, my Funko Pops gave to me... How would you like to have a, a grandpa? 
His name, first name is Funko. You can call him, hey, Funko Pops. <laughs> oh, it's the mayor. It's the creepy, cheesy mayor. That's when he has cheese. That's when he's really cheese. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Two face, man. That's got to be hard. Okay, four. Don't make me sing on the fourth day of Chris. Okay, here we go. Hey, we got a boogie, a little snot. He looks cool. I like him. He just seems all perump, just a uh, hand on the hips. Okay, this one is Sally. We like Sally. So far, all different characters, really cool. We're doing good. And who we got here? Oh, and Jack in his nightcap settled down for like a, a long winter's nap. These guys don't sleep. So that's why, you know, Santa never comes, right? You gotta go to sleep. You can't come when you're awake. You know, he knows if you've been naughty or nice, so if you're good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out for creepy clown guy. <laughs> He's kind of a little psycho. He'll put a frown in your eye. Santa Claus is not coming to his town. He knows if you have a beanie. He knows if you have a hat. He knows if you have a smile or not. And, you know, I like Jack Spratt. So, I don't know. I just try to go with... Oh, man. Then you got uh, Vampire Cat. No, Vampire Girl. What was the one that we had that we opened is Vampire Chicky Poo? It's this girl right here. Who was that again? Vampire Teddy? Ugh. Man, I don't want to open it anymore. They're really freaking me out. I don't want to get to Christmas if this is the way you got the path you got to go. Ow. I don't know. Maybe this ought to be like, you know, countdown for Halloween, you know. But it's a nightmare before Christmas kind of a thing. Oh, man. Certainly is a nightmare. <laughs> What's he doing behind his back? So he's got his little like sling shooter right here, slingshot. And it looks like he's crossing his fingers with this evil smile. Like, I didn't do it. Oh, you naughty boy, man. Santa ain't gonna come because all these guys gotta be naughty to look like this, you know? Oh, man, number 10. Oh, these are hard to open. This cardboard's so hard it just tears up your fingers. Okay. Oh, we got... We got uh, Granelda. Fly, fly, my precious. <laughs> I got the witchy poo. Man, all the characters have been different. This has been a really great reveal. I mean, uh, with the other one that we did with the DC, we had some repeats, even though they had different colors and stuff, but these are totally different characters. So I guess they just got such a broad base of characters, actors here. Uh, did we get a first dupe? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, Jack Skellington. Well, that he's not in his nightcap there, you know, so. It's a dupe character, but yeah, he not in his nightcap. Okay, we got creepy kid with his lollipop. He's got a ski mask on or something? Hockey mask? Oh yeah! <laughs> Who wants to have a nightmare before Christmas? Before Christmas, you're supposed to be all excited! Oh man. Okay, let's open this one up. God, we're on day 13. Oh, this is unlucky, guys. Unlucky. Who do we get on the unluckiest day of the of the month here? Oh, we got a snowman. A bit creepy, but I like his green hat. Uh, snowman looks cool. We go to 14. And we got the, oh look, brains are popping, man. Dude, put your skull on, man, Dr. Finkel. Yes, I must have somebody work on me. We'll keep going, man. I'm getting scared already. Oh, Sally. She always seems to be nice. Look, she's got a flower for you. Yay. 
So there we go. So what was the original one here? The first one we got out without the flower. Okay. Oh, and her hair goes all the way down to the ground and this one doesn't. So, okay, not bad. So we got two dupes, but then Sally and Jack, you know, it's fun to have those as dupes. I like the Pumpkin King. I like the Snowman. I like Boogie. I don't know if they'll have a dupe on the Boogie, you know, and what he'll look like, but we'll see. Zero. Okay. Zero. You know what? It's interesting because you've looked at this zero versus that one. This one looks like it's possible it could glow in the dark. I don't know because it's not pure white, right? And it looks like it's just, it might have it. We'll have to see if, if that glows in the dark. God, so far, getting a lot of awesome different characters. Oh, we got a third of uh, Jack. And Jack's just kind of like, you know, is it the same? That one he's holding like a snowflake in. And this one, he's holding nothing. And it's like he's going from left to right. Wow, big difference. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, maybe they ought to not be so, you know, detailed. Maybe just a little bit more generic and just have one winking. <laughs> Finally, we got Santa Jack. All right, that's cool. I like Santa Jack. I love his beard, his goatee. So, so far, we'll put him in the back here. Oh, his little teeny tiny feet. We got to bend him forward so he'll stand. Oh, last one, 18 for this week. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, getting up to the fourth week. Oh, man. Spider head, man. Who was it that? that uh, it's the uh, Hardaquin demon. Wow. He's got his mallet, man. He's got choppers on all sides, man. You take him to buffet. He won't be starving at all. Okay, now for the last week just before Christmas. Because, you know, they don't have 25th. The 25th day is when Santa should be there, right? Whoa, we got a different boogie. We got a brown boogie. <laughs> he does look happy, though. Yeah, it looks like Groot. I am boogie! <laughs> there you go. Okay, day 20. No, one fell out. He keeps falling down. Okay, 20. We're getting closer to Christmas, guys. I hope I get my uh, favorite character just before Christmas, the 24th. Oh, we got Santa. He came early this year. And look, he's got his list. And it looks like it's a short list. It must be the nice list. <laughs> Not many nice people out there. No, it's the naughty list. There's a lot of nice people out there. He looks cool. Finally, we got somebody living among all the dead. There we go. And then we're on to 20. 21. Is it 21? Yeah, uh, it's Hatchet in the Head Kid. Zombified. Hey, I think he's my least favorite. He just looks so creepy. And that's 22. Oh, Zero. Zero looks cool. Zero's got glitter. And he's all over my fingers glittering. Okay. There we go. There, I like glitter on them, not on me. But usually it, it rubs off unless you got it really super glued down. That one's actually a great uh, Christmas uh, ornament, hang on the tree, because the glitter, you know, and the colored lights that you'll have on your tree, that'll just sparkle. I like my zeros, and this one's my favorite one so far. Unless that one glows to the dark, we'll see. Oh man, 23, 23rd day of Christmas. Hey, that one's a cool one. Wow. Like I said, I like the glitter. But that one's super cool. That green, that is Christmas green, guys. And he's got his Christmas green umbrella. Is that what that is? I think it's an umbrella. These two right now, I think, are my favorite. Santa's always got to be a favorite, though. Last day, guys. On the last day before Chris. Did I do one of that things where I pulled it out? We better count. Do we get all 24 of them? Because maybe I pulled one out earlier. Maybe the last day of Christmas was him. Uh, let's count. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, somehow I pulled out the bag and just thought, okay, that's fine. Well, guys, we collected them all here. That's super cool. Now for the night you've been waiting for when we turn out the lights. And we want to see what pops in the black light. And after the black light, what pops in the dark. Okay guys for our first row of the adorables here we got the black light 
and uh, the pink pops and looks like the green and Zero's nose. That's cool. Uh, Zero and the white really pops and so does the mayor, his face, it pops. And then I don't know when we turn them around. Does it pop on that side? Not as much. We got a pumpkin, he's popping. And then we got Jack Skellington, which we'll see which one's glow in the dark in just a minute, but we're gonna go through the black light and see which one's pop. And then we got Frankenstein or Stein or Elmenstein here. <laughs> And the Christmas tree and also Jack Skellington pops over there. That's cool. And then we're going back to the 24 days of Christmas. And it looks like Jack's popping in the white. You got some uh, pink that's popping on their faces here. And you know, if it's got some like good color to it, it'll pop in the black light. And this one pops the most, I think, zero back here. I mean, just look at that. Boosh, it's just probably just drenching the camera and it's just blurry. Oh, and then the back part of the couple here with the gate, that back part right there, it really pops. God, it looks good. That's awesome color. And then our Jack. The only thing that looks good that pops is his little present in his right hand. <laughs> Nothing else pops in the black light. And what about the Skeleton King? He seems to do okay in the black light. His pants probably pop more than anything else. And then back here, um, yeah, just the white, it pops. And then back over here, Oogie Boogie glows in the dark, but I just want to see what they look like. The white pops, just, and his Zero's nose pops as well. Okay, that, usually if I put the black light in front of it, it pops better just because it's saturation to the camera lens and just bleaches it out. So now, guys, let's go ahead, and I'm going to use the big, huge black light to find out who goes in the dark. So I'm shining it on everybody. And then guys, stay tuned because we still have this over here that we wanna do, the black light, but we're keeping that till the very end. So here we go, guys, in three, two, one. There we go. I can see him right here. This one glows in the dark and that one glows in the dark. Okay, ready, set, three, two, one. That's cool. Our Jack Skellingtons. And Sally does too. Sally's glowing? Really? She does. Sally glows, you glow, girl. Oh man, you can see it through her head. Now I can see it. Now I'm looking at it through her orange or red top. And then over here, the one that I thought that I wasn't sure if it was glowing is this zero right here. He'll glow. Three, two, one. Yeah, I told you. Now he's my favorite. He glows. He's got a yellow glow to him. Really cool. He's got a great yellow glow, guys. That's why it looks so odd in, in the light is because it looked like a very muted off-white, but it gives you the, the yellow glow. Anybody else? Are we done here? No? Let's take a look at our boogie because I don't think any of these guys glow, but the boogie, the snot head. Oh, Zero's, Zero's nose glows too. Let's see, three, two, one. They both glow, boogie. <laughs> and look, Zero's nose glows as well. He's got a boogie on his nose. <laughs> Yes. These are super cool guys and uh, Boogie glows really really well but man I'm still like really liking Zero right here. He's still glowing pretty well um, an orange kind of glow. I think that's well that's what I'm seeing. I'm not sure what you're seeing on the camera. Okay guys now for this one. This one's just black light effect okay. Let me open it up and then up at the top. Oh wow here we go. Oh that one glows. Look look these two. This dude glows right here like El Franken mini Steeny. And the girl over here ready three two one. They both glow. That's cool. We haven't even done the black light yet. I'm already entertained. There's the black light. Does it really pop really well? It just looks really good. I can't tell what it looks like in the camera, but from here it looks really cool and kicking. Mm -hmm. God, they're having like nightmare before Christmas rave parties, man. That's cool. <laughs> this San Diego Comic Con is awesome, guys. Maybe a little bit too, is that too much over saturation? Or do they pop even more? Oh, that's cool, guys. Okay, guys, what do you think? Uh, out of all these, which ones are your favorites? I'll tell you right now, and be sure to put in the comments below which one's your favorites, because I'm curious to find out if we, you know, mesh up. <laughs> but my favorite here, out of all of them, is this one right here, the little people. It's so cool how Boogie glows. And I love the backdrop here, and they just seem so cute. And Zero knows, he glows, you know, on the, it, you know, Rudolph the Red, no glow, dear. I mean, they're all here, haunted. I love the glow in the darks, which is Zero. That one surprised me, because if you look right here, it's very muted, but when you uh, turn on the black light, goes in the dark, it turns yellow. I mean, that was so cool. I loved it, totally. I love the uh, Christmas, or the snowman. Oh, don't forget Jack Skellington. I love the Santa suit here, which is super cool. And I love Zero Who Pops, and then out of all the adorables, that's my favorite. The black light, they just really pop like they're having a super party. You guys can too, you know. Don't stay in the tune. Come out, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll have more on the way. Now onto the Fortnite challenge, where I could win, for those of you who don't know Jack, his skin. And this is Mr. Skellington. <laughs> That's just a fun emote. Okay guys, just days away from Halloween. I'm excited to get this uh, video out. And if I can't get it out before Halloween, it is a nightmare before Christmas. So I'm covered <laughs> between now and Christmas. Jump. 
course, you know, they don't have a nightmare after New Year, before New Year, or the next year, and so I gotta get it out at least before New Year, but no, the goal is for Halloween for all the good little boys and girls. And I'm getting mixed up here with, you know, Christmas and Halloween. But I like the sleigh. It slays me, man. Oh, you see that ranger? It looked like it bit back when I tried to turn a corner. He's like, oh, look, he's snapping at Jock. <laughs> he's snapping. Ah, I didn't notice that before. That ah, ranger's got a little bit of a spunk. All right. And we got some slaps. I think somebody else landed here with me. And going here. Holy no mackerel. Or I mean, no shield fish. Got some willets. And let's go downstairs, see if we can see anything good down here. The first one to drop and to load up and to eliminate gets more eliminations. <laughs> I'm glad I got a witchy poo broom. Let's go, Jack. Away! There they are. Ooh, okay. Well, don't mind me. There we go. <laughs> I had a guff of you! <laughs> it was bad. Okay, that's okay. We can always refresh with a little bit of a potty break. Now we're up to full shield. Those little bony hands, uh, pulling the trigger and locking and loading. That's funny. Man, I've seen a lot of witchy poo brooms. Little lantern. See, they could have decorated that little lantern that went by for, you know, Fortnite, but they had so many huge updates. Ooh, shockwaves. Take those. If I can get the grab and go bag with shockwaves, that'd be sweet. Yeah. Dun, 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 Gotta have a little bit of like musical s score here. Oh, wood stake shotgun. I'm kind of split on that. I'm not sure. I do want to do a Halloween challenge or it feels like I'm part of it. You really have to practice with it. I really haven't practiced with it. So well, we'll try it. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I've done that before. Zero's just laughing. Oh. Oh, he crevice the heel. Okay, well, it doesn't do too bad, at least for me. I mean, the wood stake shotgun, but I'm not sure how long we're gonna be partners. It is cool, I do like it though. I just, it's not my thing. Sniper striker, siphons. I like these little, like, dinosaur dung mounds, it looks like. All those rocks in there could be uh, bones. I think about all the skins I'm really liking Jack Skellington. I don't know what it is. Maybe because like girls are usually the skinny ones, and the guys are all broad shoulders. You can't see around them to fight. But and this just feels right as far as like the uh, form form factor goes. Okay. Oh, key, nice. And I can use some gold. Man, I burned through it since they introduced the Ogs. Okay, I'm doing okay with gold. <laughs> Not even hitting the low thousands. This place has been pretty looted and fleeced. So we'll just grab an extra five on the shield, upgrade the, the scope burst. Check this out. Okay, yeah, I'll take that shotgun. I feel more comfortable with the Maven. I've heard both stories. A is good, oh, no, it's not so good. But for me, it just feels right. More shockwaves, cool. Your pathetic excuse for decorations, man, but I'll take your peppermint. Thank you, I like peppermint. Oh, well, another decoration is just a chicken. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's cool to hear the timbers creak. It's just creepy because it's so like quiet over here. Man, it's like they all congregate, I think, around those uh, POIs. Do headshots. Increase speed while swimming. Regenerate health, partial shields while uh, uh, on the gold bag. I just realized I have Mud Warrior. 
they brought it back. You can regenerate a, a full health partial shield. Then if you get Mud Warrior in the bush, man, oh, that was my favorite Ogs. And then if you got Thermal with that on top of it, when you're in the bush, you're regenerating and you can like get Thermal Scope. Oh man, those were the three amigos. When did they slip that back in the game? I just keep going by, yeah, mud, yeah, mud. I don't care about the mud anymore. When mud used to be my friend, I made mud pies, mud pancakes. I was muddy. I don't know where I'm going to, walking on the moon. I got more shock waves when I walk in on the moon. Thermal and scopes go together, days dopes, walking on the moon. Dun, dun. I don't know, I heard that. I think it's Sting or the police. I can't remember who sings that, but it, it was cool. Gotta light some campfires. You light up my life. You give me s'mores to eat on. Jazz Galley 10 and 0. We go together like la 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 ding 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 We'll always be as one, 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 one. We'll go eliminate. Uh -huh. We'll take and they'll be their fate. Uh -huh. We'll do it right tonight on Fortnite. <laughs> Welcome to the Fortnite Show Tunes. <laughs> I just, there's nobody here, guys, except whoever's watching this, and there's nobody here. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Mm, call me the singing Fortniter. I'm carrying zero, so I'm hoping I can carry a tune. I'll carry on, I'll carry over, I'll even Harry carry, but I will not carry a gun. <laughs> As a MASH episode. Well, we're in different times right now, man. Me and Zero. Somebody's here. Oh, he jumped down. Oh, I thought he was coming down and say hello. Oh, I just shocked me in somebody else's bite space. I think there's somebody right there. Bite. Wow, it's pretty busy there. <laughs> Look at Zero. All we are are ghosts in the wind. All we are are ghosts in the wind. There's a lot of shooting going on over there. And over here, closer. I'm going to make a run for it, see if I can get in on the action. Six players left. No, five players left. Okay, the action is leaving me behind. Yeah, I don't want to be caught off guard. I don't want to have to deal with the sweat at the end. Okay, somebody in the drink. And somebody up on the hill. He's shooting somebody over there, so it's like three. Uh, I don't think any of them are real sweats. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, pfft. he jumps up at the last second. Oh. Okay, he's a jumping jelly bean. Okay, 121. Uh, if anybody goes down, yeah. I guess it was him. No, maybe he didn't go down. Okay, another one down. Oh, another one down. Man, they all try a third party. I gotta get in there, man. There's a sweat in there taking them all out. I gotta know. I gotta take him out while he's weak. Somebody else is gliding in. Ooh. Okay, this is it. I gotta go. Ooh, he took him out. It's Michael Mayonnaise. Michael Oscar Meyer. Hot dog. Whatever. One more. There we go. <laughs> guys, cool. I Halloweened win. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll have more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.